Hi all. In this session, we are going to learn about jump statement. We have seen iteration statement. We have seen conditional statement. Now we are going to learn about jump statement. There are two things which we have to learn in this statement. We have continue and we have break. And these are the differences between continue statement and break statement. We are going to do practical as well. Now this break statement is used to terminate or exit from the loop. Now what happens whenever we are using this break statement inside our loops, as soon as the condition matches, it will terminate the loop, it will come outside of the loop. But in continuous statement, when the condition matches, it will not terminate the loop, it will continue the next iteration in the loop. Practically, we are going to see this. And break statement is used in switch statements. We have already seen when we write break accordingly, whichever case is matched, we will get the result and it will break from the statement. And also, break statement can be used inside the loops. We have for loop, do while loop, while loop. But continuous statement can only be used inside the loops, it cannot be used inside the switch statement. As soon as we write the break statement, whatever control we are having that will come outside of the loop. But in continuous statement, the control remains in the same loop, but again it will be starting from the beginning of the loop. Practically, I will tell you this one. And syntax is we will just write this break keyword for break statement. And for this continuous statement, we just write this continuous statement. Okay, these are the differences. You just have to understand break is breaking out of the loop. Continue is inside the loop only. We are going to continue for the next iteration. You just have to remember this one. Practically, I will just show you. I am just going to write here for loop. And inside this, I am just going to write let i is equal to 1. i is less than or equal to 10. And i plus plus. Inside this, I am just going to print the value of i. I will save this. Now, I got the result as 1 to 10. Before that, let me just write here log. And inside this, I am just going to write break statement. I will save this. Now, this is the break statement. The same thing I am just going to copy. I will be writing here. And inside this, I am just going to write continue statement. Now for both, I got the same result. First, I am having break statement 1 to 10, continue statement 1 to 10. Now inside this, I am just going to check for the condition. If my i is equal to equal to 7, then I just want to break this. I will save this. Now you can see here, for first, as soon as the condition got matched, as soon as my i becomes 7, it will come outside of the loop. It will terminate the loop. First, I am printing this one. So, 7 is displayed. As soon as this condition is checked, I am outside of the loop. Whatever I am having outside this loop, that is displayed. Now, I will copy this one. First, I am just going to check for the condition. And after that, if I am just displaying, you can see I will be getting the result till 6. Because as soon as my i becomes 7, first it will check the condition. When i is 7, it will break. It will not display this one. Okay, it is not going to display 7. But if I am printing this console before the condition, then I will be getting 7 as well. Okay, this is about break statement. We will be writing like this break. As soon as the condition matches, it will come outside of the loop. Okay, it will come outside this loop. Here it will be coming. And whatever data I am having outside the loop, that will be displayed. Now for this continuous statement, I will be writing the same thing. Let i is equal to equal to 7. Now as soon as this condition matches, I just want to continue this. I will save this. Now you can see inside this continuous statement, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All, all the i, whatever data I am having for i, that is displayed. But I don't want this one. 
what I want is if this condition matches, I just want to skip this 7 and after this, rest all the iteration should be continued. So, I am just going to bring this console down. Let me just bring this down. Now, I will save this. Now, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is not there. Then again, the loop continued. I am having 8, 9, 10. Only this particular condition, this particular step will be skipped. 7 will not be displayed. And again, it will continue from here and I will be getting the result. Okay, this is the basic difference between break statement and continue statement. Break statement, it is just going to terminate the loop as soon as we give break. But continue statement, it will not terminate the loop. It will again start from the beginning of the loop. Whatever condition is matching, that particular step is skipped. That particular value is not displayed. This is how we are going to use break and continue statement in loops. This will be very useful whenever we are making projects. If we want to stop the execution, then we can use the break statement. If we want to continue the execution, even after that output is given, then we can use continue statement. We have completed our complete control statement section. Next, we are going to start with arrays.